been in my story and it be shit like that. Uh, All that tough talk, what? You ain't built like that. What? You ain't hopping the shit, man. Bring that shit, man, back. Uh, you ain't been in the. Fave. <laughs> All right, so first of all, I wanted y'all to tune into this. All right. So I am going to drop a video. I'm going to try to find as many of the celebrities that I can't wait before I start. Be okay, this motherfucker is going to be okay, this motherfucker. Like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike, do all that. Do something, though. Show some love, right? And so... We have a lot of celebrities, right? Excuse me. That are going to the desert. That's going to the mountains. Going to see nature. Real nature. Not none of that fake grass that's planted in your neighborhood. Right? And so I'm thinking like, dude, why are all these celebrities posted up? In the, just, just taking pictures right up in the open, right by the mountains. Like, literally, the hills have eyes. I know y'all heard that. These hills literally have eyes. Y'all have to understand, right? I'm finna get real deep on this one. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just because I haven't been over here so long, I'm about to get real deep on this one. So, a lot of people feel like that they were they're from Egypt and they had previous lives in Egypt and this is a lie a lot of y'all are from um, places like California Arizona and Colorado Nevada the places where the Indians lived right When you come and look at certain spots in these areas, you know, more specifically, y'all should know that there are caverns and tombs inside the Arizona desert, inside the Grand Canyon. Tombs that depict Egyptian culture, right? And a lot of people don't know that. They just think it's all about Africa and Egypt. That's a lie, bro. When you start to... And this is why you're limited on money and resources because you can't travel to see, you know what I'm saying, different states and different spots. You watch movies, right, that say the desert is terrible, right? And so you never go to the desert, right? But you, what you need to understand is in the desert, it's the same thing as being in Egypt. What's the difference? Tell me what's the difference. Is snakes in the desert? It's mountains in the desert. And it's sacred land. If y'all didn't know. You understand what I'm saying? So. I have a feeling. That all of these celebrities. A lot of the celebrities. Are trying to get. Good. With um, the nature. And get good with. Um, the ancestors. To be more specific. You understand what I'm saying? When you get into the desert, you're going to see bugs you've never seen before. You're going to see animals you've never seen before. And a lot of the time, y'all think these animals are going to attack y'all, but it's a lie. Because a lot of these animals are extinct because these people are trying to rescue us. You understand what I'm saying? So with them rescuing us... They're putting the animals away so that we could live in a perfect society where no animals harm us. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like... And then on top of that, when you get to see these mountains, a lot of these mountains are going to scare you. I'm not even going to lie to you. Because you've been so disconnected that you believe that you're from another land. You understand what I'm saying? You believe that you're from Africa... So you want to go back to African descent instead of looking what's right in front of your looking at what's right in front of your face. You understand what I'm saying? So 
when you come to realize that the boats, like my man, uh, like there are no boats for the slave ships, when you realize that there are no boats for these slave ships, but they found Jesus' boat, you're going to realize that you was already in America, right? So if you were already in America and you feel like you lived this life before, nine times out of ten, and if, if you feel like you're from Egypt, nine times out of ten, you was not from Egypt. You was from right here, somewhere out west. You understand what I'm saying? Literally. So, I'm going to put a couple pictures up, but i seen Larry June, Alicia Keys, Omarion. Um, who else did I see? Like five other celebrities literally taking pictures and just visiting a battle rapper named Loso. Like all these people just all of a sudden going to the desert and they just want to, ooh, let me just go, let me go visit. The, like, dude. None of y'all is going to the desert just to go visit. Y'all going to the desert because it's a dessert for your inner for your inner spirit and your higher self. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of the times y'all don't believe that these entities exist, but when you get to deserts and sacred lands, you're going to see these spirits that you've never seen in this paranormal activity, right? Like paranormal activity. paranormal activity they're pairing normal activity right in front of your face so that you believe that it's you understand what I'm saying something outrageous and that's normal activity I need y'all to understand that I need y'all to understand that this is it's not a game, right? Hold on. I got one more thing to say. <laughs> because look at this, right? So a lot of people tell you, put your feet in the sand or the dirt. I just gave it away. Put your feet in the dirt, right? And then meditate and you'll start to feel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, basically, excessive energies from the universe because you are your feet are planted. So you're supposed to be rooted, right? But a lot of the times they didn't tell you that where are you planting your feet? You know what I'm saying? When you plant your feet in certain different areas, you get in certain different energies. You see what I'm saying? So you're not getting ancient energy. Well, you're not getting as much ancient energy as you possibly could if you were living like in Wisconsin or something or New York or New Hampshire or something just you see what I'm saying you gotta be somewhere where it's ancient territory now for the people that are afraid yeah you're gonna be freaked out when you first do it but at the same time like dude you gotta get over your fears if you trying to really know the truth you know what I'm saying you on this channel for a reason so you really want to know something you see what I'm saying so it's just like dude start to realize that uh you know It's a bad thing about having locks. Start to realize that uh, everywhere you plant your feet ain't always going to really, you know what I'm saying, extend your spiritual journey because it's not as potent as it could be. You see what I'm saying? Um, just, you know, take everything with a grain of salt and do your thing. You feel me? Understand this. This is why a lot of these... Um, Rocks and mountains are off limits. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't climb the rocks or the mountains because they off limits. They got them blocked off. You got to pay. And they made it a national park for tourists to come see and, you know, do their own thing. Y'all are so focused on Egypt. That's a part of our bloodline. That's not where everyone is from. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people have had... um have had past lives in other countries such as the UK um, such as whatever the case may be but I'm just letting you know that majority of the people 
came from Arizona. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So, understanding that, you know, this life is deeper than what you expect is something that you should be open-minded to. You feel what I'm saying? So, start to reconfigure your mind and, and get out of what you think that you know because you really don't know. You understand what I'm saying? You really don't. Um... I just wanted to say that um, I may or may not put the pictures in here, but I'm, yeah, I'm going to put the pictures in here just because I want to get y'all proof of everything that I'm saying. But um, like I said, you're going to see these mountains and it's going to it's going to feel like it's fake because you've been so disconnected. It's going to look like a green screen. You've been put in this alternate reality. So anything that's alternative to the reality that you've been programmed to process is going to freak you out. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, come here. Come on. Come here. Just be playing too much. What you doing over there, man? Hey, what you doing? But yeah, man, I just wanted y'all to understand that uh, I'm gonna show you something.